Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Hello and welcome to a brand new week of AutoLine Daily. I'm Sean McElroy filling in for John who's out driving the new Corvette and Camaro. But now let's look at the day's top stories. A new study out of Germany says that new engines emit more particulate matter than older powertrains. By the end of the decade, most new cars in Europe will be equipped with gasoline direct injection engines in order to meet emission standards. But the report says GDI engines will emit 1,000 times more particles than regular gasoline engines and 10 times more than new diesel engines. Researchers found that higher cylinder pressure in GDI engines create more particles. And speaking of engines, Renault-Nissan will de develop a new engine with its Russian partner, Autovaz, which makes a lot of cars. Reuters reports that the company's already collaborated on a 1.6-liter engine that will begin production in Russia this week, and a new gasoline engine will be built on the same line in the future, according to executives. The engines will power several different Renault, Nissan, and Lada vehicles. Renault-Nissan currently controls 25% of Autovaz, but next year the alliance will take control of the Russian automaker. Volvo's pedestrian airbag that was first implemented last February may already be headed for the chopping block. If you don't remember the system, it will deploy an airbag from underneath the hood if an impact occurs between speeds of 20 to 50 kilometers an hour or about 12 to 31 miles per hour to help protect a pedestrian from serious head injury. Well, as it turns out, the Swedish automaker wants to direct its focus more toward active safety systems like its sensor-based city safety system. Volvo will not offer the pedestrian airbag on the next generation XC90 due out in 2015, and one senior VP says it's unlikely the technology will make its way onto other vehicles in the lineup. And speaking of things getting dropped, Chevrolet will offer a special edition version of the drop-top Corvette. Called the Premier Edition, it's only available in dark green paint with a brown suede interior and will have a few unique features like its wheels with Stingray logo center caps, dash plaques commemorating its limited edition status, and a five-piece Corvette branded luggage set. When this special Corvette convertible hits the streets in early 2014, it will be limited to just 550 units and will carry a price tag of a little over $77,000. And in other GM news, Bob Sosha, the head of the company's operations in China, announced he will retire at the end of the year. GM will replace Sosha with Matt Sien, who is currently the VP of Planning and Program Management for GM in China. Coming up next, a look at the new premium trucks from Chevrolet and GMC. There's so much to love about Bridgestone's Dueler tires. The amazing traction, the quiet, comfortable ride, and they're really tough. It's like loving three tires in one. The 2014 Chevy Silverado High Country and GMC Sierra Denali are the new premium truck offerings from General Motors. Well, you'll notice unique features like their front grills, body color bumpers, 20-inch wheels, and they even get a new V8 engine. But what's also new is that Chevrolet will offer a premium Silverado for the first time, and the brand feels that it needs to be there. There's really a couple reasons we're bringing high country to market. Uh, first of all, we know that about 30% of the full-size pickup market actually transacts above $40,000. So it certainly makes sense. There's a lot of folks in that $40,000 plus price range. Uh, and quite frankly, there's a lot of people today buying LTZ, Chevrolet Silverado LTZs that are buying in that price range anyway and, and want the luxury that that price point would imply. Quite frankly, um, the full-size pickup segment has a lot of product loyalty, a lot of brand loyalty. Frankly, more so, I think more so than most other segments in the industry. So if I can offer, if we can, so if Chevrolet can offer, uh, a Silverado in a high country edition that, that lets our customers step up one more step from an LTZ that they're normally buying, 
I think it's the right thing to do. And, and it'll get some, it'll offer a good opportunity for our dealers and for our customers. In the previous gen Sierra Denali, the 6.2 liter V8 engine came standard. But customers were telling GMC they wanted another option. Yeah, it definitely was, our customer base. You go out and talk to Denali folks and there are, there are a lot of people who are very much interested in maximizing their fuel economy with a Denali. So the 5.3 meets a lot of folks' needs in terms of trailering capability and payload if they need that. It gets excellent fuel economy. It's got best in class V8 fuel economy. So we decided to make that the standard engine and if somebody wants to opt up and they really want the, the 420 horsepower in the 6.2, which will have excellent fuel economy as well, they can opt up and do that. It's kind of the best of both worlds for those folks. Price for the high country starts around $45,000, including destination charges, and ranges up to about $54,000. You can add a few thousand dollars more to those prices for the Denali. Both trucks are available at dealers now. And that's it for today's show. Once again, I'm Sean McElroy. Thanks for watching, and please join us again here tomorrow.